Hello to the channel. Welcome back everyone. Thanks for tuning in again. I'm getting the video up nice and early. Um, we're on the water because we're going to sore our sevens tomorrow. So none of the Guinness tonight. Need make sure we're in, um, I was going to say, good shape. But perhaps that is the wrong word. Anyway, I'm going to preview and um, pick some teams for midweek. Lots of chatter on um, Twitter. Firstly, Bab. Um, with his rolling locks and his um, stuff regarding substitutions and all that sort of stuff. DMPs, but interesting stuff. Um, and then we've got the the sort of continental um, special weekly, as they call it. Um, I've been having a bit of a rant about this. Um, maybe too much of a rant. I mean, the positives, um, no divisions midweek, so we don't need to worry about this horrendous UI that we're having to deal with. Um, in terms of the continental teams, well, um, doesn't actually show you when you're um, just about to enter, but you do need um, one player who's under 40 average. Um, you need another one. Um, what's it? See requirements, yeah. Um, maximum three players for each team, so if you've been building a Arsenal stack all season to get to the latter stage of Champions League. Can't play them in this. Um, minimum one player of average forty or below. Maximum two players, average of fifty five and above. Um, I don't know. I, I don't. I just I'm just not a fan of it. Um, I like that competition in general. I like the specialist requirements and all that sort of stuff. But um, to give you an example. So that you know, kind of might need the odd guy or whatever so I started looking at you can find it pretty easily in so rare data um there was a filter for um under 40 averages for next game week um so here we have gory aaron so there's one an option which you have to wait for probably be deed after so rare sevens so no use to me um listed 25 quid and a um, couple of days go sell them for six quid so it's not even as if you can just kind of go and get somebody to fill. I mean, do I really want to pay 25 quid for somebody that um, is really only worth five or six quid and, you know, all that type of stuff. So anyway, I'm not going to go on a big rant or a big moan about it. We'll, we'll play the game that's in front of us. Um, so let's do the preview. Um, so International, pretty interesting there, um, appearing up there. They do have a good um, couple of players who have licensed cards, etc. Um, we've still got this set to expect clean sheet, actually. Apologies, that was from the last video. So, um, Paranense, um, three expected team goals and international. So, looks like they've got pretty good fixtures and um, Fortaleza as well. Estudian is against the strongest. Strongest are always pretty good at home. Don't think, um, I think this one's in Argentina. I think they play Altitude or something. Um, Flaming goals, I call them. Flaming goal, expected 2.75 team goals. Um, Leeds, um, Liverpool, again, it's pretty hard to call the Liverpool team. Are they going to go a bit stronger now? It's the latter stages. Mm, interesting. Um, let's not talk about that other team there. Gremio, um, Gremio lineups actually just out for the midweek, um, sorry, not midweek, the weekend game. So at the time of recording, it's just come out. Again, a good amount of rotation there. Palmeiras. Boca Juniors, um, at switch against Watford, so a difficult fixture for Watford there. Um, Cruzeiro, Southampton, West Brom. So, as you'll see here, none, absolutely none of the um, big European clubs feature in anywhere of the sort of best expected team goals or whatever, you know, so, which you kind of would expect. Um, Hang on, buttons are not working right. Uh, Leverkusen, um, you would, I think they'll do pretty well against West Ham. Although West Ham have got a good European pedigree recently. Um, Arsenal against Bayern Munich. So I suppose 1.6 to expect team goals, quite good. Arsenal have been quite tight recently as well. So, I don't know, Bayern Munich beat 3-2 the weekend. They're not exactly doing very well. Leicester. Unusually um, far down. Benfica at home, guess, you know, um, a lot better than playing Marseille away from home. 
um, Club Rouge, the Airplane Park. So yeah, it's the latter stages in Europe, um, but the group stages, I think, of like the Libertadores and all the other sort of competitions. <clears throat> um, so let's build some lineups. We'll start um, with the under 23s, I think. Um, again, another issue for me this week is not having enough um, sort of, well, we've got enough goalkeepers, we don't have enough goal- goalkeepers from a point of view of having super errors and stuff. Alison and Courtois injured, it's a real sort of killer. So, so yeah, I'm going to stick to picking the All Stars and the under 23s first and then see what's left for that Continental Knights thing. Um, let's not discuss it any further. All right. <laughs> Been on a proper rant the last couple of days, I'm, I'm, maybe I should just chill out, man. That's what people say. So, Leandro, Leandro Bray, interesting one. I think the Boca first goalkeeper due back soon, so I don't think I'll really be going to sort of risk him. Um, Patrick Schulte, I mean, Columbus are pretty good, right? But Tigres, tough assignment. Um, so, I think I'm just going to be going with the Tribunator here. Um, I think it's just got to be done. Um, Benfica at home, I, in all honesty, I do think that um, Marseille will probably score, but could be busy, so I suppose from that perspective, um, could be okay. Um, so, Tom Zorojo, Nico Schlotterbeck is away, so that's Atletico Madrid. He does score pretty well, Schlotterbeck, so that's an interesting one. Um, what are the options, though? Um, Valentini. Actually, a pretty reasonable one for the Continental Knights. Um, 36 last 15, so fits under 40, and a projected 57, so probably keep him for that. Um, not really a huge amount of um, choice here. Well, a, I've got a good amount of choice, but nothing really is kind of stand out. I don't, I'm not sure Saliba against Harry Kane's a brilliant matchup. Obviously, as Big Harry would say. Doesn't really matter for their in or out or season risks. None of the competitions are sort of open from that point of view in terms of in season out season. Um, so Boca, yeah, Medina, um, pretty good fixture. I think they rotated, so Medina's definitely an option. I think um, still think he played the last game. Probably need to double check that. Um, Spurs lie again. Will he start? Um, Phil Foden, difficult game against Real Madrid, but he's more than capable. Um, so as you know, it's toughen the matchups in it. Um, Lee Kang and not playing tonight for PSG, so probably playing that game. Will Echeverry get a game? Um, home fixture for River. He's been pretty good. I guess I've got to just kind of play it safe and just go with Big Philip. Um, you know, Real Madrid are, are pretty good, no doubt about that. <laughs> Real Madrid, right? But um. Yeah, they, they do can see goals and stuff as well, and that's going to be a really good game, man, sitting in Real Madrid. Interesting, Zabalas is injured. Gabriel Martinelli's kind of in out the team. Doku, interesting. Um, Doku could maybe do a bit of damage in the Bernabeu, there's no doubt about that. Vinicius Jr. Um, so, yeah, there's nothing that's hugely standing out here in terms of projected scores. So I think he's kind of going a bit more on feel as well, you know. Um, I guess Man City and Real Madrid you expect a couple of goals so it's under 23s don't really mind that too much um, Arsenal against Bayern how will Musiala fit I mean Arsenal pretty strong in the middle as well Declan Rice etc in there so quite a tough fixture um, again it's nice to have some options here but you know there's not a lot like really properly standing out uh, Red use Schlotterbeck, Beraldo per PSG playing uh, Barcelona. <laughs> it's tough, isn't it? Um, yeah, it's quite tough. Pick it out at this point. Um, I think we'll stick in a Christian Medina, and then I'll have a look at the overall um, projections, etc. Captain, oh, I sat the burn about in um, Man City will have Ederson back, so they'll probably concede. So, yeah, I'll go for Vinicius Jr. at the burn about. Um, always does pretty well there, right? And 
It'll be interesting. I guess uh, Man City will probably play their faster defenders. So, so, so Rico Lewis or I don't know if Walker's fit. Kanji will probably play as well. Um, I think for Man City, just for pace and stuff at the back. He didn't start against Crystal Palace. Um, under 23s, super rare. I don't have a playing goalkeeper, but it might be worth it on this. I mean, I don't think there'll be a lot of playing goalkeepers, obviously, of Trubin and stuff. So, you know, none of these guys are really going to have any chance of playing. Um, is it worth firing somebody in? I don't have any super rare goalkeepers at all, so I'm just going to actually enter this competition. Why not? Um, play Harvey Elliott in here. He's just some gate at game. <laughs> Game time. Harvey Elliott is due some game time. Um, Alvarez or Martinelli. Alvarez played the last two games. I don't think he'll start in the Bernabeu. Um, so I'll probably go with Gabriel Martinelli. And against Monterey is a pretty difficult game for Inter Miami away from home. But kind of nice to use in unique. unique. Frimpong never started, so I'm going to captain him. I mean, I'm not real huge aspirations for that team. It looks pretty nice, but I think it's that's more of a pun, obviously not having a goalkeeper. And don't really, I did have a look before the video, don't really have um, any super rare goalkeeper at all. It's just a bit of a killer midweek, actually. Um, so yeah, Courtois and Alisson been injured, it's just a pain in the jacksie. But there we go. So we'll pick an all-star team, and then we'll see what we've got left for this. Continental shenanigans. Um, so interesting, Raphael projected 76 for Sao Paulo. Pretty interesting. Um, global All Star. We've got caps to play and stuff as well, so we could sort of just aim for that too. So who else got out? Raphael, Allison's injured. Ortega Moreno probably will play. Angus Gunn. Pretty high expected score. Good clean sheet today as well. We're a Norwich win. Sheffield wins. Yeah, that's a pretty reasonable fixture there. Defenders. Will Virgil play? I don't know. Sometimes he gets rested in these games as well. Um, Marello Cerquera. Quite high expected score. 69. I do subscribe to... Brazilian patron and stuff, so I'll be able to get a, a handle on the lineup selections and stuff there. So I think probably going to go with Big Murillo. Um, do like him playing against the other Liverpool, isn't it? That's the other Liverpool. Carlos Gale, I don't think they, they get absolutely horsed 4 0, didn't they? So they're probably going to rotate a bit now. I think that's the thing. Um, so you've got the other Everton for Flamengo. Um, again, a bit of a risk in terms of whether or not he'll play. Kieran and Jewsbury Hall, I guess Leicester can't really afford to rest him at this stage, so pretty solid selection. Um, Messi, will Messi play? I think he will. Um, he's in the squad for the weekend, so that's interesting. Um, so where do we play him? Do we suppose we play him in the continental competitions? That would kind of make sense. Mo Salah is an interesting one. I think um, Salah will probably play, actually. So, they don't have any... This thing with Quentin, anything. there's no champion open. So, just sort of discussing this in my head here. Sorry if I'm talking to myself. But, um, well, I'm talking to you. You're watching the video. Um, yeah, I mean, Salah started the last game where Liverpool were winning, like, 5-1 for the first leg or something. So, you know, I'd imagine he's, he's probably going to play... Obviously, need to review that based on what happens um, tomorrow as well. Um, Luis Arojo, um, pretty high expect score. And I've got Magic Mikey. He's playing out his skin. <laughs> Michael Johnson against Rotherham. Oh, we captain him. That's an interesting what I think. Got to be um, Salah captain. Atlanta are pretty good. Um, they can be a bit leaky as well, but they're a kind of fun team. Yeah, um, young goalkeepers, Karnaseche, who's very getting his the star pool before he was actually a star and then kind of turned out to be a bit of a star under 23 goalie and stuff so there we go so let's pick a team for this continental thing let's just continental knights there you go biggie gal's got it sorted as well he's got a filter for it go on a gal 
Um, this spreadsheet, by the way, is not mine. It's from Soria Probabilities, S underscore Probabilities on Twitter. Um, and it'll give you a free trial and stuff of this as well. And just to be clear, I'm not on any commission at all for bigging the spreadsheet up, which is very helpful. So Raphael looks like the um, sensible choice in goals. That's a pain in the ass. It's not like having a super ego for playing, but I know, shut up now. Uh, <laughs> um, so I could use Virgil here, actually, but it's a bit of a risk to tell me whether he's going to start. So I've got Murillo already used. Tapsova, will he play? I um, don't think he played today, so probably will play. Andy Robertson's probably just start. Um, Valentini, so uh, he could be the under 40 player. Um, Raphael's 54 as well, so that's good. And again, just just moronic stuff. Sorry for using that phrase and stuff like um, from Soria's point of view. Like if you're sitting around and you say, we're going to run like a specialist type format and stuff, like get the slider in so that people can filter their galleries. I mean, when the specialist was there, there was always a slider, so you could do the filter for the averages like you do in the caps. I just don't know why they don't think of stuff like this. But anyway... I did promise I would shut up, and I will now shut up. Um, I quite like that fixture for Flaming Goal. So I'll need to check the proposed lineups and stuff, but now I've got the um, under 40 average player in, then I guess that Everton's um, Palestine are playing games. So Everton's good selection there. This lets me get Messi in as well, so that's good. Um, so I can play Messi. I'd imagine that the, the ties kind of in about. I mean, Monterey is a pretty hard fixture, but it's it's Messi, right? So <laughs> you want to get him in a team, right? Um, and then Arojo. Where's Arojo? Where are you? I guess we can get. Hmm. Luis Orozco in the last 15 of 44. So that's what I mean by the last 15, right? So I want to check who I've got now in terms of the under 40s. I've got to do this. Get there eventually. I know it's because I've got a lot of players and stuff, right? I know, sorry. This is nearly as much fun as winning the level ups, by the way. <laughs> Fantastico. Matthias Arroyo. Please, Arroyo. There you go. So, I think that fits. Um, I suppose if you're playing this line, it'd be kind of got a Captain Messi, I don't know. Does it fit? Uh, so, we've got a team in. Fantastic. We've met the requirements. It's not easy, but we're in. We are in. Right, so um, actually, you can do the filtery stuff on here. So, last 15 average score, minimum zero, maximum 140. Right. So goalkeeper wise, nobody that really starts. Valentini's kind of standout one. Noah and Bamba I don't think plays for Leverkusen. Um, David Martinez doesn't play for River. Dodo is kind of an interesting one for Fiorentina Turner. He he might play. Bernabe, I don't know, will he get some game time for international? I mean, he's shit anyway, so <laughs> sorry. Joe Orden is an interesting one. Um does get some games for Club Brugge. And remember, these are my players as well, not um, just the whole um, shebang. German Campanazzo is an interesting one. So he's a projected 60. Zabalos would be good, but doesn't have any knees, unfortunately. Sorry, pal. Lucas Golario, I'm not sure whether he's going to start. Tengstead's an interesting one. He's starting tonight, so he does well. He might start again, so I suppose Tengstead can go on a team. But um, German Camp and Natso could be another 
one again. So I do like the multiple entry uh, format. Like it's good for that point of view, but would be good if I actually um had that type of thing in All Star actually. But there we go. Um. So I'll need to check whether or not he's likely to play. And again, that's that's a sort of risk with these guys as well, you know. Um, it's like who's going to play and all that sort of stuff. Um, Kelly here. I feel as if we're just like we're really sparse on divisions. We could probably do this and then do the caps. But um, Kelly here is an under fifty as well, so we can do that. And um, do we pick a Liverpool defender? Do we fancy Andrew Robertson to get a start? I don't know. I mean, he's not played a lot. I, a lot recently, so <clears throat> I could get him in here. Um, Foden, De Bruyne was tremendous, so I could use him as my over. So this is going to be a, quite an interesting game against Real Madrid. Um, and then we um, could use Griezmann. Does that fit? Maximum two players with an average of 55 or above. And Dortmund are a bit leaky as well, so, so, ah, shit. Two players have a fight that you saw, I can't play. Robertson's a pain in the ass. It's 55, so it's got to be 54 below. Hmm, okay then. Um, Baragi, pretty good player. Guilherme Arana is a really good player. Um, actually... If he's going to play, so I'll double check that. So, yeah, Jorman Campanets has won a competition to play with the stars here, and he's in. Well done, Jorman. Get yourself in there. Um, so, I guess we've got the caps and stuff as well. Um, so, 240 super rare. I might actually fire, obviously, some guys in there and play for the cap with a DMP goalkeeper, actually. That that's, could be the strategy here. Um, so... All star format, isn't it? For the caps, super rare. So, yeah, no goalkeeper. That's a pain in the backside, but yeah. They're all getting injured. <laughs> there, Allison, I suppose, could be back, but even if he is, he's not going to play. Is it? Oh, no, that doesn't make any sense. Got to use a DMP goalkeeper because we've we'll got the cap to use here. So. I suppose Burzik's one injury away from actually getting a game, so it makes sense to use him in here. So what's the highest project score? So we can use up the cap now, and we need to take off the restrictions that we had on here. So it's probably makes sense to use Virgil somewhere, right? I mean, it's later stages. Will he start Stroll's games? Probably could. Probably could, yeah. Yeah, I mean... Canale is pretty good fixture. I would think he'll start actually as well because that that's kind of in the balance. Um, we've still got pretty good average to use. <laughs> so Griezmann's going in here into the. Is it Griezmann or is it Felipe Silva? Alvarez away. I don't really fancy much. Sasha Racing is pretty tough one. Pavon, I don't know if he'll play. He's playing tonight for Gremio, so kind of will he, will he not play? Um, what type of fixtures? Big Felipe Silva, the Shagger got. Uh, Silva has some continental mates. Yeah. Why is he not showing up? Oh, yeah, it's 61. Hmm. It's a difficult one, pretty close. Big stage thing, probably go with Griezmann. Um, that's a shame, I really want to get Felipe and Griezmann in there. So I need to lose a f five somewhere, so that means I need to go for a 53 mid. Armstrong was out, Rodrigo de Paul, kind of interesting. Smansky, uh, away at Olympia, I still not fancy that much. Yeah, I think I'll probably, I'll regret that. I'll probably regret that, but Griezmann, it's not been firing much, I hope. I'm going to go with Felipe Silva, actually. 
it's just dead hard to ah, it's dead hard to leave out Griezmann like dead hard I wish there was more it's a choice um, and then Pochu doesn't really play at the moment so shoot Armstrong missed the game <coughs> not blessed with brilliant options yeah. not exactly maxing out the cap doing it that way but John Stones at Real Madrid no I don't think so Rodrigo De Paul against Dortmund how's he stacking up Canales Medina it's Medina I could play Medina actually yeah I suppose if he's going to play he's going to play so the fish in Medina in here and then yeah so I just can I think Inter Miami are just so leaky. Um, set your target. I'm going with the four man team, so it's got to go safe for the $60, I think. There. Yeah. Um, add a team, we'll go for a rare outing, and then that will probably do as well. I've spent a bit of time in this, so it's good. But I want to try and get some teams in, and yeah, I'm just not going to go and start spending 30 quid on guys that are worth six quid to enter. Sorry, I'm just I'm doing it. So. Always do that. Forget to flip the it's a stupid UI. Um, cap to the for you. Yeah. Maybe it's me being stupid. I'll take some responsibility for being stupid as well, right? <laughs> so what we've got options wise, Kelly here. Um do we want to use suppose we could run a cap to a seventy team as well, put Kelly here in it. Um any lower down options. Don't really fancy shield are we? I don't know. Just really don't. I suppose Keller cap cost 51 still pretty good. Ethan Horvath, Birmingham, Cardiff are just so bad. They're not very good at all, are they? 41, I'm not, su not surprised that's projected 41. What's his cap cost? 48. I suppose I could keep Keller here for the cap to 70 then, so... Um, Patrick showed it. I mean, Tigre is a hard game away, but if it keeps that down, then, you know, could put in a good score. Um, very likely, obviously, to start and everything. So, and then we've got a remaining cap cost of 47. So I'm going to filter this to 50, just to try and see if we can find any sort of gems here. Semicast, I guess, probably play... Um, Tap Soba could be an interesting one. Again, yeah, no, I need to check the projected lineups for Tap Saf over, but Tap Saf against West Ham. <sighs> well, the easiest fixture in West Ham. Got a lot of good players, you know, like guys like Bowen and stuff, you know. Um, nah, not so easy, but there we go. Um, John McGinn, Jonas Hoffman, Etchie Ferry. Jonas Hoffman didn't play today, so it suggests probably more chance of playing. So like Canales use here, and fact, because I'm looking at this one, then looking at that one. Aston Villa, John McGinn. I think that he was suspended recently, so I think he pretty likely to play there. Average left. 48, so I've got this set to 50, but just to kind of work with it a wee bit. Um, Martinelli, Alario, I don't really know if he played. Doku, David Neres has been playing. And then that leaves me with an average cost of 50 left. Can I filter it on here? Yes. So I don't know why they just don't have this filter on the Continental Knights one. Just make it so much easier, right? But or you could just have the affordable only button and stuff as well. Just does the same job at this stage. So we've got left, Elias Aguilar was pretty rancid last game. One Beck has been injured. Rodrigo, I don't know if he'll start. Chris Medina. Again, if he's likely to start, that's actually a pretty good fixture. Definitely the best fixture I would say anyway. Gabriel Gabriel Menino's a pretty good fixture as well. Um Heber actually, that's interesting. He's on the penalties and stuff, and I'm gonna wire him in. Um, again against Leo Neres. Not the easiest fixtures, tap so but hmm. Heber been in good form on pens and stuff. Um, 
Oh, I hate going for the fifteen dollars one. Um, what's fifteen dollars? I'm gonna go for the three forty. Let's be greedy. So I'd rather gamble it at that level at fifteen dollars. So it's just personal preference and all that jazz. So there we go. Picked cap to forty to forty super rare and rare. Um, let's pick a two seventy rare as well. So what use up these cards, right? So, um. It's a Saturday night and there's he haw good games on now, so so we need to reset the spreadsheet to zero to one hundred. And I think that's the one we're keeping Kelly here for. So we've got Kiwi or whatever you call him in there. Um do have another Virgil, so I could run Virgil in here with him. It's interesting. Will Trent be back? I could play Robertson actually. Um he was just kind of causing me an issue with the caps and everything the other one. Barco, Canales, Sabozla, is he going to play? Um, I imagine there'll be a wee bit of rotation there. Curtis Jones, kind of, I think he's back soon, or in amongst it. Um, let's see what the old spreadsheet's saying for the midfielders. Molinas, injured. Everton, we've used. Colasios, is he back? Hmm. Did he play today? I'm gonna to check that actually. Um do I mark up all my devices here, so I'll just do the traditional and check it on my phone. Um what about Leverkusen by the way? <laughs> Harry Kane eh? <laughs> goes to Bayern Munich and they've just been winning everything. But no scores forty one goals and no dice. Lassios was on the bench. I'm gonna use him in here actually because I think that suggests to me he's got a good chance of coming back in. And I think that um, there's been a bit of rotation and stuff. Shit. 74 cap cost. No, I don't think I will. <laughs> okay. Balls. Um, Gil. Gil said he's a Kelly's issues, so I don't know if he's going to play there. Barco, an interesting one. We could use Barco. River at home, big game. Could be tempted by Echeverry as well, but I'd need to kind of see what, try and work out all the rotations and stuff there, which um, that's the difficult bit of it. Um, so, forward wise, Michael Johns we've used. Felipe, so I've got enough Felipe. Put him in there, and then we've got a cap cost left of 44. So, you see who we've got left, Arojo, I'm not really sure. Dennis could do some damage at Ipswich. I do apologise if there was a wee bit of a blip there. Um, computer went a bit mental. Um, happens, but I managed to save it. I'm getting better. Do all that screenshot stuff and all that jazz. So I've got one more selection to fit in here. Affordable only, which is always handy. And I think I'm going to go with a manual Dennis provisionally here. Just um, with Ipswich. You know, Ipswich are pretty good. But Watford can definitely score. And Dennis might, might suit him sort of on the counter-attack and everything there as well so so there we go um so there's a good few selections and um a couple in for continental nights um i'll probably wire something else into that um i don't know i i, I just don't know this layout of the tournaments i don't know if i'm feel as if i'm using making the best use of all my cards and stuff this week midweek although i'm using all my rare goalkeepers and things up so i guess I need to review the gallery as well anyways we will finish on that note um and if i'm absolutely deed after so there sevens it's been nice knowing you all and on that note we will end there if you're playing midweek good luck and go for it